journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, so we're going to move into the era of uh, Forex trading here. This is the dollar versus the yen, U.S. dollar versus the Japanese yen. This means that U.S. dollars should go up against the Japanese yen. Well, as you can see, we were looking for a top to come in right around the 159 level. Uh, it came in at 160. Uh, the difference between 159 and 160 in cash money is uh, $600 because it's $6 a point. But it hit that number and it just literally had a big move down. I'm going to switch over to the daily right now and just show you what happened. There was the, the big move that occurred here on the daily chart. Now, as we use, and I didn't draw in the larger ABCDs here, as you can see, they're 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 everywhere. But I I don't want to, you know, we we do this so often that I don't want to spend a whole lot of time. There's that ABCD there, and it that takes you right up to that same level, which was the exact high, 160. What we were looking at last night, and if you don't you don't have to try to pick the high on some of these things, folks. Let's just take a look at it the way we were looking at it last night. We were looking at it on a very short time frame, okay? Now, here's here's what's really cool, all right? This was the high made right here. This little retracement right here, this little tiny retracement, this was only, this took about two and a half hours, okay? This was, I'm not even going to let Johnny say what that was, but that was a perfect retracement at 382 right there, and the market just absolutely cascaded down, rallied up one more time to the 382, and then cal calmed down and uh, still is uh, actually, you know, moving uh, moving lower. So whether that's going to be a larger move, I would think that it would be because it's been up for so long. And I, I would like to bring you back to history because in 1989, in December, actually the last day of December, the Japanese stock market, the Nikkei, was trading at just shy of 40,000. I mean, 100 points shy. That was New Year's Eve. And... Uh, on that day, they were having a special on CF CBS. This was long before, you know, um, CNBC, but they had a special at CBS. Uh, and the reporter was standing in front of the Imperial Palace, and he had a $1,000 bill with the picture of uh, General uh, Grover Cleveland. And he, this $1,000 bill, he put it on the sidewalk, and he said, this is how much money the U.S. dollar can buy in real estate in Japan. And, folks, that was the high of the stock market for uh, 20 years. Yeah, it went down for, I think, into, well, in the early 90s, anyway, well, early 20s anyway. So uh, that that's that's what happens to some of these things when they actually, you know, uh, fulfill themselves. So I'm just bringing that to your attention because I think it's important that, uh, you know, history is good to remember that. But these are why these little numbers are so good. This one was a really nice one here. Look at this. You rally for several hours and you're setting exactly at the 382 off of the high right there. Your risk there is like this right here. It's uh, 60 pips, which is $360, and it made well over 700. So that's uh, that's the kind of thing you try to do is get your uh, you know your odds in your favor, and that's what you're really trying to look at. We've had some really good moves in some of these things, but that's uh, that's what we're that's what we're paying attention to here uh, today. Now I want to show you something that's different that most people don't understand. And that is this right here. This is the reverse of that. This is the, this is the being long the end. See how being long the end was a bad thing to do. And there was your three eight true retracement here last night, right there. That was it right there, and it went straight up. That distance went uh, six eight went eighteen, almost exactly two thousand dollars before backing off to the three eight two retracement uh, right here, as you can see that. 
And if you looked at it real closely, last night we came within an absolute heartbeat and actually made it by just a little bit. We made the 382 on this one, then went up and made another new high, and this is where we are right now. Folks, all I can tell you from looking at this chart is that volatility is increasing. We're gonna be seeing it in everything, not just the Japanese yen, but in gold. Look at copper today, up 10, 10 cents in copper. And it hasn't stopped yet. Now, let's swing over to just a second because uh, I sent out a couple videos of all the charts that I did over the weekend, folks, and there was a lot of them. I couldn't find anything that was bullish. I mean, I couldn't find one thing. In fact, we had a couple positions on. We were long some uh, soybean oil, and I said, you know, we were we were just slightly profitable, and I got this up here, and I said, you know, if you get a chance – I said, get out of your soybean oil at this level right here. You can see there's the 382. Get this out of the way here. There's the 382 off of this high right here. And so it gave you a good chance. You had uh, you would have made it a little bit of money, uh, 300 bucks. Oh, no, wait, not even that much. Late 20. Yeah, you would have made three, um, $200 on that. So that would have been okay. The other one that we were long that I said, you know, to tighten your stop to, to 70 to lock in $500, was the December corn. We'll get this up here right now. I'm still bullish these folks, but I still think we're going to get a bigger, uh, you know, bigger correction here to uh, to get to chance to buy them. But we did go down to this level right here. So that locked in a profit of $500. So uh, we'll have to wait. See, now, they only went to the 382. I probably should have put my stop a little bit below there, but man, that's neither here nor there. So we'll keep a, keep a close eye on this one as we walk through. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648, you know, and we'll try to give you some ideas of uh, what we're what we're looking at here in some of these markets. But boy, I went through those charts and gee whiz, I I couldn't find any of all the MAGA stocks. And one of the things that we're going to do here uh, when we come up to the uh, to the break is I want to go over the MAGA stocks with you folks to show you the condition that they're in because this is, uh, we're serious stuff here. We've been waiting for, uh, you know, a pretty big break here. It hasn't happened yet. Well, we had a little bit of a break, 5%, but that's that's not really very much. And I, I think there's more coming. Nobody seems to think that there could be, but well, we're going to take a look at some of these other stocks here. Let's just, uh, for kicks and giggles, I want to bring something to your attention from our good friend Rich Anderson. Uh, uh, over the weekend, there was a uh, auction of this hotel. It's a uh, Holiday Inn Express in Washington, D.C., 247 rooms built in 2022. And uh, the lender was old $83 million on this piece of property, okay? His bid, and he was the only bidder, he bid on this place for $18 million, folks, on this 247-room hotel. Now, to reproduce this hotel like this, it's going to be a lot more than $800, you know, $18 million. What I don't understand, if it's an 80% discount to debt, why aren't other people in there? I just don't, I don't get it. I really don't. And that's not a bad thing. <laughs> Let's take a break. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, here is the uh, gold market, uh, the AI program, artificial intelligence, showing it what the expected ranges are supposed to be. Low is supposed to come in here at 930. We have a high coming in during the program here, ends at the end of the program. So at the end of the program, where we're still in this area right here, we should be down for the uh, rest of the day, at least for two and a half hours into that time. As you can see, I've put in the uh, ABCD pattern so that you can see what it looks like right here. This is what we do when we do the live trading uh, twice a month. Now, I'm just going to take that out and show you. You had another one that was right here. You see this really now. This is only a two-minute chart, but you're, you're talking uh, six, seven, eight hundred dollar moves in gold that are certainly tradable. If you took this low and just drew the ABCD in right there at the 50% level, you know, uh, that's what you'd really be wanting to uh, look for. And you're at this particular point, uh, you're still below the open, but you've got a beautiful place to put your stop, which is right here. So buying it at 44 and stopping it at 39, you're only risking five bucks. And as you can see, that's had more than $1,300 profit in it. So those are the ones that we're really paying very, very close attention to each day here at TFNN. Now, what I'd like to do here, we've got some time. I want to come over here and uh, I'm going to do it this way. So just give me, uh, go to uh, main uh, layout and we're going to go to the MAGA charts. That's right here. And I want to show you some bearish pictures, boys and girls. I mean, I I couldn't find a – and I'm just looking at the MAGA stocks. I'm, I don't look at anything. Well, look at – well, Apple happens to be one. But we're going to take a look at these. And if you find a bullish one, I want you to, you know, really let me know, okay? So here's – Here's where we are. Today we have Apple. All right. We'll get Apple up here. It's having a having a really good rally today. But you see, uh, we had it gapped up, and all it's done so far is just go right up to the 78% retracement. Let's just check and see if that happens to be a, a 382 off of this high right down here. Whoopsie daisy. We don't want to do that. And we'll get this up here. Uh, oh, shucks. Hold on one second, folks. Got to draw it in so everybody can see it. And there's the high of the day right now is a 382 off of that high right there. The one that was really interesting was the one that was uh, with uh, Tesla because Tesla had a beautiful pattern here. 
And you can see here that this thing just literally was shattered. Uh, this is what uh, when Elon you know, gave me a call yesterday uh, on Friday before uh, you know all this happened. He said, "Look, I'm heading to China, Larry." He said, "You might want to buy some stock in here because I'm going to have some good things to say." Well, <laughs> folks, there's nothing you can do about something like this. I mean, when the news comes out and the market jumps from 70 all the way up to 185, there's there's nothing anything you can do about that. It's acting perfectly on the downside and then a news announcement comes out and boom away it goes so those are some of the things that we're watching with this stock but let's look at some of the others okay now this is this is Amazon alright we'll get now this is a 60 minute let's get this up here on the daily so we can see it this is this is one of the more bullish ones Amazon is still bullish you can see here it's still in a, a strong trend we had a, uh, a big move down and yet the market snapped back the last two days this one is still looking pretty good let's take a look at now softy not so much here's Microsoft look at this one folks if you look at this on the daily chart all right this means that everybody I'm talking about everybody that bought this stock since February there's February right other than the guys that bought it a couple days ago all of these dudes have a loss this is one of the Dow stocks for heaven's sakes I mean my goodness what's going on with this right so that, just be really careful with some of these. Okay, the next one we're going to take a look at, and it's, uh, this is uh, the big one, of course, is NVIDIA. And what are we doing? We have the same type of a pattern here. Let's just draw it up. There's our uh, fact is we just about hit it today. There's the ABCD pattern that we're waiting for, which is within a buck or two, well, $2 of that right now. There's the ABCD in a downtrend. And as you can see, ABCDs work pretty good with NVIDIA, just like they do anything else. There's the ABC to the downside, and there's NVIDIA. These are lower highs, folks. That's not a good sign. All right. And then we're going to take a look here at uh, Google we've already done Google you know this this one looks the, to me the worst because uh, uh, well how, how do I say worse how can you say something is worse when it's doing something like this the only thing that I'm saying is that it has a lot of ABCD patterns that have just completed in here folks you know that that's another one that's up into here so I just be really really super careful here's here's SM uh, uh, semiconductor I don't know I think this is the one from Taiwan I'm not sure but here's another uh, Gartley pattern uh, completing right here we're probably right at the 61 percent retracement as we're speaking right now we'll just uh, draw it in from your high there's your A leg, B leg, C leg. There's your 61% retracement coming in right now. Now, if these explode to the upside, all of these have failed, and you know they're going to go a lot higher. And this is the one that uh, this one's got big problems, folks. Take a look at this. This is Meta. Let's put the daily out because this is uh, left a um, uh, move this out of the way on on massive volume that they've never seen before. You see, they left a island reversal here, folks. All right, this means that everybody bought it that bought it since February. I'm just going to draw the line here. There's the February. Everybody that bought it, okay. I don't know what they said, but it was enough to scare the bejeebies out of. Uh, every, remember this big up volume right here? This big up volume was, and I don't look at volume that much. On, on, on records like here and here, I look at that. This is a breakaway gap to the upside, and it lasts pretty good. Now everybody that bought that gap is underwater. This was 84 million, and this one here on the, that on the big day uh, on Friday was uh, hold on, I had that volume right there. It was 82 million. It was a million off of this, almost an absolute record. So this means something. I. What it means, ask somebody else, but it means something. <laughs> okay, let's take a look here at the next one, which is, uh, this is still acting pretty good. This is uh, Broadcom, and we'll get this up here, right here. In fact, it's doing pretty good today, as a matter of fact. It's made it up to the 78% level right here. Uh, today, this is a four-hour chart, so we're just getting started. And if we look at this on the daily, you'll see that it has uh, lower tops all the way through here. So all of these mega stocks, uh, with the exception of, um, uh, well, Google, you have to say exception to Google because it's still way up in the air. And uh, the other one, which was Amazon, those are the ones that still, you know, still look pretty good. And we're having this big rally with uh, Apple today, which is good because that gives it a pretty good shot at uh, 
you know, what's going on with uh, some of the other things. Anyway, those are the uh, MAGA stocks. Now, folks, I know anything about I don't trade these things. All I'm doing is looking at them on a technical basis and giving you a rough idea of uh, what the patterns look like. So I hope that uh, gives you some indication of uh, what we're watching. I've got to get the uh, TFNN clock up here on the old wall, and we'll see where we are here for just a second. And I had some other things uh, that we have to talk about here. we got 36 seconds left. Tomorrow's guest will be John James. Uh, John Person. <laughs> uh, Wednesday, we're going to have Stan Harley and Thursday, Jeff Hughes. We'll be right back. Stay with us, folks. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Keckstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Keckstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Okay, folks, this is a E-mini S&P over the last 10 days, going back to April the 19th when we had a pretty big bottom. As you can see, we have a very valid ABCD pattern forming here at 51.90. The $64 question is, is it going to make that or is it going to miss it by just a little bit? This is what we're going to try to find out. But all we're going to do is that when we do get to that 5190, and when we do get to that 5190, that is what H.M. Gardley said, it's Christmas Day. You've got to get in and get ready to be a seller at that point. It's got This market still has bullish legs, folks. If you'll notice here, this last swing pulled down exactly here uh, on Friday to the uh, 382 retracement and then rallied another uh, 30, 30, 40 handles to get up in this area right here. So it's still in this area, but uh, the $64 question is, and it's always $64 question anyway, is it going to pop through here or is it going to stop here at the 50% level? This is what we don't know. We've been here most of the morning, and given the fact we've had some pretty good bullish news, it's doing pretty well, I think, holding its own. Overall, it still looks relatively bearish. So what we should do here, and that's what we're going to do now, is we're going to take a look at a couple of other of these indices that the folks look at of course of course we'll take a look at the want to look at the hourly now this is the Nasdaq which uh, has a um, you know all these mega stocks in it and stuff and as you can see we are very close to the ABCD on the on the mega on the this right here you'll notice here there's your a B leg right here okay there's your CD leg coming in right about here which is up about another 80 90 points uh, that would take you into this area of just about 18,000. That's about 80 points from where we are right now. We haven't made a new high on the day yet. But again, look at this one here. It couldn't even make a 382. The S&P did make a 382, but this did not. So that's why we want to be paying very, very close attention to this one. All right. Now, next one we want to take a look at is the Dow. Uh, well, the, the Russell is the next one because uh, – that's been the, the one that has been lagging more than any others. And as you can see here, it is still lagging a little bit, even though it has taken out the highs of, hold on just a second here, of, um, there we go, the highs of just the last week. We took out last week's high, which we're, we're here on the Wednesday of last week. Uh, there was a 382. It held it pretty well. The pullback on the Russell came right down to almost the exact 50% uh, level. And this tells us that there is a possibility that if this is continuing along with a 10-day rally, we could see the Russell going all the way up here to uh, 2071. That's 40 handles from where it is right now, folks. 40 handles is a move like this. That's 40 handles, so 80 30 that's actually 50 handles and this same type of move you could see it but that should bring in really strong resistance because it's 61 percent retracement of the april high okay and that's what we're paying attention to now just to throw a little bit of interest into these things here let's take a quick look here at what i see from a uh, from my got from my good friend mr shane smolian this is where we were uh, today, folks. This is the natal chart for April the uh, 29th. And as you can see, all of these little cycles that are in here right now, there's only two that are outside this the thing. These are, uh, uh, th th this happens to be Neptune, but all the others are lined up right in here. So that's uh, what's really going to be uh, exciting because this is the same type of a pattern that we saw on March the 5th of 2009, which was the single biggest low we've had since the, uh, the drop of the uh, Dow Jones in uh, July of 1932, folks. That's how much. And that market has been rallying for 14 years. We've never had a bull market that has rallied that much. Now, let's take a look at markets across the world. Okay, now this happens to be, we're going to, take a look at this one first this is the FTSE as you can see the ABCD has completed here uh, on a very unusual some people have given this the name of a uh, oh I forget a crypto it, not a crypto a uh, it's a different 
Oh, anyway, we'll see uh, what that happens to be anyway. I think that that's what we're paying attention to here. Okay, now let's take a look here now. This happens to be the German DAX. As you can see here, this is a daily chart. We hit that just a uh, you know, week or so ago. We've had this little rally back here. What we want to do now is look at this on a little bit smaller time frame so that you can see that during the day here that we made this type of a rally here in the uh, FTSE and now it's starting to back off just a little bit and the last one that I wanted to show you over here is this is the DAX I believe that I wanted to show you yeah there's the DAX from where we made the high there's a 382 retracement so it makes the same there's another one right here there's another one in other words if you did the 382s off of all these they're right in there on the way up same thing so those are things that we cover when we're doing the uh, uh, the uh, Hold on, let's get up here and get these things up so we can take a look at them. And now we got this out of the way here. And let's just move on just a second here. That's a NASDAQ. We don't really need to see this anymore. And okay, I think we're all right there. And I think those are the main, main ones that we're waiting to see. I think, uh, yeah. That's what we're paying attention to here this morning. So if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. We have a question about the uh, chart of uh, JP Morgan. So just let me pull it up right here, and we'll take a quick look at this one. And we'll see where we are. There's JP Morgan. We're going to look at it on the daily. This has been pretty strong, as I recall. Yeah, it's doing pretty good. It's had a nice, uh, sell, nice sell off here. But uh, where we are right now is... Uh, from our last high, as of today, we went up to the uh, just about the 78% level right up in here. Not too much else, but still looking relatively good. Since we're talking about banking stocks, let's look at the, um, the regional banks because everybody says the regional banks are in big trouble. Well, they might be, but by golly, this, this chart has really held up. Uh, pretty nicely right here okay I mean it really has now you'll notice from the high down to the low the last rally three days ago stopped right at the 382 so if you're looking at something in a downtrend there's the downtrend right here you can see there's your there's your downtrend so it's still you know heading lower as near as uh, I can tell there are two other stocks that I covered uh oh we got a we think we got a uh, yeah, in 42 seconds, we're going to have another. We have to take a little trip, folks. You get a free free, uh, free plane ride today. When we get done here, we're going to take off for – we're going to go to Hong Kong, and we're going to go to China for the rest of the half hour. So we'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that. 
as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds for both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, you're looking at the Hong Kong uh, stock market. All right. I just want to point out that we've just made, okay, a 382 retracement, folks, of the high that we made way back here. Okay, very, very important number, I think. And you can see we have a little bit of an ABCD flavor to it. It closed quite a bit off the highs, about 40 points, which in an index of 17,000 isn't very much. But the fact that it did get to that level was very, very important. We, in fact, hit that 382 off of the whole thing going way back here. This other one is from the other area. I'll get this out so you don't see it. But this is the 382 from the high. Now, that in itself, I think, is important. But since we've been kind enough to fly you guys over here to Hong Kong to see this wonderful city that uh, I basically call my second home, been there so many times since 1980. Uh, my first time was 1980 when I was at Drexel. I went over to hear Dr. Dr. Doom and Gloom, uh, Mark Faber, uh, have a seminar there with Harry Schultz, all the gold dudes and stuff like that. And Man, I was and gold. Gold had already made 800, and you know it was on its way down. And all these guys were looking for 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 dollar gold, and it was in a bear market for 20 years, folks. It went from 800 down to 250, and that's when our good friend and the leader of the pack here, Tom O'Brien, said. King Dalla, and by golly, that's when gold turned, and boy, oh boy, did it ever turn. From 250 to we had a high of 2,448 just about two weeks ago. Now, we're going to get in a little speedboat here, go across the uh, Sea of Japan here, and we're going to go over to Macau, and we're going to look at the Chinese market. So bear with me one second here, and we'll have it right here. We'll put the weekly up first. There's the weekly chart of the Hong Kong market. All right, and here's where we are again. Now, this market's been plagued with a lot of bad news, but as you can see here, it's a very easily tradable market. Where are we right now? We're at the 382 of the high we made in 2023, okay? This market has rallied since January into May, so it's been rallying for five months, and it's setting right at the 382 retracement. It closed about... 10 cents, 20 cents above it. So if it continues to blow off to the upside, then maybe this is going to pull the other things uh, in the markets to us. All I'm saying is there's a lot of things occurring, and we're over a major, major thing today, in my opinion, and we'll, we're will we going to find out if that's going to be a big deal or not. But let's just uh, keep that in mind as we look at this. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. Okay, now we're going to get back on the plane, and we're going to go over to uh, Malaysia, Singapore, and some of these other places and look at the emerging markets. And that's old EEM, which is right here. 
And we're going to put up the weekly emerging markets, and you'll see they also have been rallying, but boy, not very much. And as you can see here, at least they, they made their low back here in November. They still have a potential maybe to, to get this high. We have not made – we had a 382 retracement here, but we haven't done anything here other than make some ABCD patterns. We'll just draw them in right now. In fact, this was the – we had another one here today. You can see the market is up. Uh, because of the market still going higher, but uh, we could break out above this and go higher, but we're also in an area, this is a weekly, so let's take a look at the daily just to be safe, and that'll show us a little gap here this morning, I'm sure, and there it is right there. Well, I tell you what, this thing could have better legs than I might think, because there's your low right here, there's your 135 pattern, and it looks like, let's just clean this out, this is worth, this is worth, uh, this is worth the price of admission. There's your one, three, five, and I believe the three, the five is probably three, eight, two, right on the money. Boy, th this doesn't look too bad. Uh, wow, this really doesn't look too bad. Look, we're gapping up. So unless it stops right in here, folks, this looks like the emerging markets are the place to go. This is one of the more bullish ones. Uh, they're near closer to the high of the year than uh, most of the others. So it's acting. Acting pretty well, holding up from that level uh, relatively nicely, I would think. Okay, so I'm glad I brought that up. I hadn't seen. I looked at the others, but boy, this is going to be interesting. I, I really, really, I hate to say this, but I'm hoping that we make that 5190 in the S&P uh, because I think that's going to be the that that's everything that I talk about, teach about, live about, dream dream about, think about is in that that pattern in the S&P. I got that ABCD at that level uh, of a 1.618, uh, which is right up here, 190, okay? That's not a 382, Larry. Just get that out of the way. So that's everything. Let's do one other thing. So we got kicks and giggles here to do a little bit of time here. We'll just do a little time thing. Now, this is – we're over a big astro date, in my opinion, folks. This is a really big astro date that we're over right now. But let's just see from old uh, WD Gann where he used to measure time and price. From your high to your low, you see where it was uh, uh, 69 – we'll call it uh, 70 trading days, okay? From, and you can see here we're not anywhere near – 70 trading days on this group right here. So you move this over, 70 trading days don't doesn't come until um, uh, wow, till to, uh, Wednesday. So take a look at this on Wednesday. If we get up here on Wednesday at this level, see this, the 29th, 30th, the first, yeah, uh, yeah, right tomorrow or the next day. Watch this up in here. It might be a really uh, really big one to look at. Very very important. But this was a real explosive move. And uh, that one caught me by surprise, but fortunately, we made some money back, and it turned out to be uh, pretty much okay. So that's it. Oh, one other stump. Somebody's got another stock question here. Hold on just a minute. I'll get Archer Daniels Middle up here in a minute. This has actually done pretty well. I don't know what it's doing now. And then also someone has asked me about wheat, and I'll bring that up to your – oh, ADM on the weekly. Uh, okay, here's where – this is a weekly chart. Uh, well, I can see we're at some 382s here, so don't get too bullish on this stock, folks. We had a, a weekly rally here from January through March. All right, let's just check and see if we made the 382 off of this one right here. And, uh, boy, we missed it by uh, by a dollar. So in order for this almost got back into this gap area, this is not looking very good, folks. It moved pretty good from 50 to 65. Let's go to the daily because that's where that pattern popped up. Yeah, see, there was the 382 way back here. So this is still not looking that good. And, in fact, it's lower lower highs now. So you want to be able to uh, stand stand aside. And uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be involved in that stock uh, for sure. Okay? Again, uh, I want to re repeat our guest. Tomorrow will be John Person, a very, very uh, personable fellow. He does a lot of stuff with uh, the Dow Jones. And he's quite famous in Chicago and Florida and other places, of course. And Stan Harley needs no introduction. He'll be on Wednesday. Thursday will be Jeff Huge or Thursday or Friday, one of those two days. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be here uh, on Thursday because of I have, you know, this is the time of the year where you do your physicals and I've got tests to run and stuff because uh, they can't imagine how anybody doing all the things I've done.
and has lived as long as I have. <laughs> I've been very, very lucky, folks. My goodness, I wake up every day in an attitude of gratitude, and I really do. Okay, let's take a break here, and we're going to come back, and we're going to wrap it up, and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, but we got another two minutes to go, and we'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're looking at the Dow Jones E-mini here right now. And if you look this number here, 38619, we're trading 38585. That's a 78% retracement. Now, you see the 61 didn't hold it. The 50 held it for well over 100 Dow points. 78% level would be a new high on the day right above here. But if you sold it here at 38619, or we'll say 18, make sure you get filled, you only have to risk 50 points. It's $250, if that's correct. Now, all you have there is a retracement number. That's the only thing. I trade the retracement numbers because I believe in them. If you remember, just back on the 19th, when everybody was calling, uh, you know, sky is falling, the sky is falling, everybody said, sell sky. You'll see the Dow Jones went to the exact low right here, folks. This is within 20 Dow points, 20 Dow points. And it rallied from 17.5 17, to 38.8, 1300 bucks straight up, no retracements. There were no, no three one, no three eights or nothing. 
there was just a straight one, and then a market pulls back. Uh, looks like it stopped almost exactly at the 61% retracement. Of course, we knew that. That was on uh, the 25th, and here's where we are now. So selling it here at 38618, you only have to risk 50 points if you're really bearish. Raise your hand if you're really bearish. Put your hand down, Johnny. We have a guest today. Anyway, folks, uh, try to do something nice for your neighbors if you can because it's uh, not easy for folks out there anymore because uh, there's a lot of things going on. Uh, they say that inflation is under control, but, boy, it's certainly not uh, here in Tucson, Arizona. Boy, oh, boy, I can't believe some of the prices that, that they're asking in the supermarkets these days for meat. Oh, my goodness, I was shocked. Back to hot dogs for me. Anyway, let's take a break. We'll see you all tomorrow. On the flip side, guest will be John Person. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.